I really do love creating content, but right now the only thing that has been bothering me a lot is the editing time. To create a video like this, there goes time into scripting, into recording it, and the longest time goes into editing. And for my short form content, this takes the same process as well. So that's why I've been looking for ways to cut down on the editing process, and that's where AI comes in handy. But with so many different AI tools out there, which one is really useful and which one should you avoid? In this video, I will show you five AI video editors that will massively help you in terms of creating content. I have something for every type of creator, so make sure to watch the entire video. I will also leave the links for all of these tools in the description down below so you can check them out. I will also include promo codes if I have them. So let's jump in right away with a banger of a tool and it's called Feed.io. So Feed is an online video editor and it makes video editing really simple. It is made for anyone that wants to create awesome looking videos but they don't want to learn a program like Premiere or any other tool and recently they've also stepped up their game with AI. And that's where this AI text to video tool comes in. It's a really great tool and let me show you how this works. So you go to the AI text to video, I will leave the link for that in the description down below. And then you type in what your video ID is about. So for example, let's say we want to create a short about meditation, like a guide how to meditate. So let's do a prompt, create a meditation guide video now we click on generate video and now it does all of the work for us it does the scripting it does the editing and it also gives us a timeline where we can edit it in that took like 60 seconds to create and now we can open it in the editor so as you can see here is the video timeline we have all of the different scenes from the b-roll and then we have subtitles we have a voiceover in there and we have some background music so let's have a look at it close your eyes and take a deep breath Inhale, exhale. Let go of the worries that weigh you down. Feel the tension leaving your body. So yes, that is pretty cool. It does everything by itself. And I didn't have to do anything for it, just typing in the prompt. This feature is great for anyone that wants to create videos fast and also want to have high quality videos that you can completely customize. So with the timeline editor, you can edit anything that you want. So let's say I want to edit the subtitles. I just have to click on it. Here I can see the complete transcript and then I can also change the styles and here I can choose any style that I like. So for example, let's do this one and now it popped up into that style. Now as you can see, the subtitles look like this. Place, surrounded by nature's gentle embrace. So yes, this can be used for many different type of videos. You can use this as a faceless video generator. You can use this for educational videos. You can literally do anything that you want with it. So once you're happy with your video, you can go ahead and click on done. Then you can click on export video. And if you want to remove the watermark, then you have to upgrade to the pro plan. Now with most of the tools that I'm about to show you, this is the same case. You can most of the times use the free plan, but if you want to actually use it, then you need the pro plan. So at the end of this video, I will tell you exactly which one I would recommend for which user case, and then you know which one you should invest in. Now, the next tool that I'm gonna show you is great for creators who already have content and want to make more content out of it. And this can be done with the help of AI. The tool that I'm talking about is called Opus Pro. And this is simply the best tool that's out there for transforming your long form content into short form content. Let me show you how it works. So the first thing you do, you head to opus.pro and here you can see all of these different creators that are already using this. And then you click on my dashboard or you have to log in first. So once you're at Opus, you can drop in your content by just providing it with a link. So for this, I'm gonna use a YouTube link and let's do a Joe Rogan podcast with The Rock. And once you find the clip that you want to use, you click on the share icon and this gives you a link. Now you copy this and now you drop it into Opus Clip and here it gives you a few options. So first of all, we can choose our preferred style. Now I already have a style for a comedy channel that I have as a second channel, which is like a faceless YouTube shorts channel. And here you can see what's on that style. So I have AI keywords, I have emojis and I have an intro title. Now within Opus Clip, you can make a lot of different preset templates. So we have all of these different templates available but let me just use the preset template too. And now we can select what time frame we want to process. So let's say you have an intro and you don't want to include that, then you can leave that out and it won't take away from your credits. So for the clip length, 
I recommend to do like less than 30 seconds or 30 to 60 seconds. Or if you want longer clips, then you select those options. But for now, you can do this or you can also go with the auto, which also gives you some good clips. If you have any specific keyword that you're talking about that you want to include in the clip, then you can enter that here. And once you're happy with it, then you click on get clips with one click. And now it starts generating your clips. So the estimated waiting time for a 20 minute YouTube video is around 60 minutes. And that's pretty good. Now, I already done this in advance, so let me show you the results. From the 20 minute video, we got like 15 clips and it also gives you a score. So the score is telling you the likelihood that the video will go viral. And I would just say like, this isn't a guarantee that your video will go viral. You could better see it as a way that this part is a good part in the video. So that's why it has a high score. So let's see what one of clips look like. He said, what do you want? Oh, he wanted to offer me another contract for next year. By the way, the contract was like, I was making 300 bucks a week, Canadian. Wow. So there was no money up there, at least not for me. So honestly, that's really good. Like from a 20 minute clip, it took out the best part and then it also subtitled it. And if you have like multiple speakers, it will also like put one speaker beneath that or it will also switch the time frame. So for this clip, I didn't have that, but you can also edit it even more. So to edit it further, you click on edit clip. And now it will also give you the subtitles or the transcript from the video. And here you can also see the highlighted words. If you click on a word, you can make it a highlight color. And this is great for if you want to add more color into your subtitles. You can also change the design. And here you have auto B-roll. I tried this out and it's not perfect yet. Um, I would say don't use this yet. Try it out. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, then just turn it off. Now, then we have auto emojis. This one's pretty good, but if you don't want to have emoji on there, then you can just toggle it off. But if you want to add your emojis, then you can click on a word and then you can click add emoji. And here you can select any emoji that you want. Now for the captions itself, you can select if you want to have three lines or one line, and you can also change the position of the captions. So overall, this tool works great if you already have a ton of existing footage and you want to turn it into short form content, because this is what this tool will do exactly for you. For me personally, it saved me so much time when I tried to make clips from my content and also when I tried to make clips from other people's content. Now I know other creators are also heavily using Opus Clip and it saves them so much time to create their shorts. Now let's say you want to switch it up completely and you want to have a faceless YouTube channel or you want to make educational videos for your business or anything else that doesn't have your face on it. Then this next tool is called NVIDIA AI and this will blow your mind. With NVIDIA AI, you can simply enter in a prompt similar to like Feed's AI text to video editor, but this one is even better when it comes to creating like YouTube videos. Veed only does like shorts and NVIDIA AI does everything. And you can also completely customize it with the help of a prompt. This is how it works. First, we go to NVIDIA.AI. You can find the link for it in the description down below. Now we give it a topic or we enter in our idea. I already have one right here. So I want to create a two minute YouTube video about the seven natural wonders of the world. Make it cheeky, use a bit of dark humor and use an old British man that sounds like David Edinburgh. So you can be as specific as possible with this. It will include it into the video. Now we can click on generate our video. After entering in your prompt, it may ask for some additional info about your video. So it asks us what type of audience are we focusing on and let's do nature enthusiast. Then we have a look and feel. The feel should be epic. Now what type of platform we focus on? For this I do YouTube. If you put into your prompt that you want to create a short or a reel, then it will put it into that format. But now let's continue and see what it creates. And for in video, depending on the length and the type of prompt that you have given it, it usually takes for me around like two to 10 minutes. And this is a bit on the longer side, but it takes a while to find all the stock footage, to write the script and to do all the editing on there. So this took less than three minutes and let's see what it looks like. Keep in mind, the watermarks will be removed after exporting it. Ever considered that the earth is just a massive spherical art exhibition? Well, buckle up as we delve into the seven natural masterpieces. So all in all, the voiceover really sounds like David Edinburgh and the video editing and the generation of the script, it sounds exactly like I wanted it to. So it has like a bit of dark humor. It feels a bit mysterious. So now we can edit it even further. So let's say, for example, you want to add subtitles in there. All you have to do is say add, write 
yellow subtitles in there. And now it will generate a new version for us with subtitles. So here's the version with subtitles. Ever considered that the Earth is just a massive spherical art exhibition? Well, buckle up as we delve into the seven. Now we can also change the scenery. So let's see, we want to first take a look at the script and then we click on edit. And here we can see the entire script of our media per scene. So we see everything that's highlighted. That's like the part that they show during that sentence. And let's say you want to add in another scene. Then you say add more visuals across the scenes. Now it's going to add more visuals into each different scene and we can exactly edit it the way that we like it. Ever considered that the Earth is just a massive spherical art exhibition? Well, buckle up. If you want to be specific, you can also upload your own media in there. And you can also search from like premium stock footage websites like iStock. Now, once you're happy with your video, then you click on export and then you click export video. And now you click on no watermarks and then you also remove the NVIDIA AI branding. So we don't have my name in the screen right there. And then we can select the export resolution. So for this, you will also need a premium account to be able to export it without like the watermarks and also don't have like the iStock watermark in there. So if you want to use this for your faceless YouTube channel, then you would need at least the pro plan. The next tool that I'm about to show you is a game changer when it comes to editing your YouTube shorts, but also for adding subtitles and some sort of editing to your YouTube videos. The tool that I'm talking about is called Submagic and here's how I use it. So first of all, go to submagic.co or click the link in the description down below and then you can log in. Once you're logged in, you can click on create and here you can upload your footage. So I have my footage right here. I drop it in, then you can give it a name or you can just hit upload. So now that that is done, your video is basically already edited. Let me show you what it looks like right now. So what it has done is it has added these caption style to it. Here's a tool that I would recommend if you're creating YouTube shorts, TikToks or Instagram reels. The tool is called Submagic. So what this does, it adds all of these different styles in there. We have this Devin style, we have the Dan style, we have the Hermosi style, we have William, Ali Abdal style. Like literally there are so many different styles in there and you can also completely customize them. And that's why I would also recommend to go with the Pro plan. Because if you click on edit and then you can upload your own font in there. Besides that, you can also change the positioning of it. So you can move it a little bit up. You can change the size. You can also use this guide to see like what the boundaries are for where you want to place your subtitles. So I would do something like this. Then you can also change the highlighting colors. And then you can also change the lines per word. So you can also change the words per line. So let's say I want to have reels on the next line. Then I click on Instagram and now I say add a line break. And now this one is moved over to the next one. But for this one, I want to remove that and keep it like that. We can also add emojis in there and also some sound effects. So that's not all. We can also do B-roll in there. And this is where this becomes really, really helpful. So the B-roll feature is actually a life changer because if you click on, for example, Instagram and you want to add some B-roll on that, then you can click on search B-roll and now you can find the right B-roll for your clip. Now we can hit on apply. We can also add a transition in there for this, we're gonna do a film burn. And now we have our video edited with a film burn. If you are creating YouTube shorts, TikToks or Instagram reels. The tool is called Sub All in all, this looks really clean and there's just so much more to it than just editing shorts. You can also use this for your YouTube videos. So let's say you want to edit your YouTube video intro and you want to add some subtitles in there, then you can use this tool also for that. Keep in mind, you need to have the best plan for this available because then you can import these longer videos into Submagic. Now, if you want to use Submagic for yourself, then use the discount code DANKEEF90 for an extra 10% discount. Now, lastly, we have Pictory AI, and this is a slightly different approach from the other video generators that we have like Feed or like in Video AI. This one does it based on your own script. So what I mean by that, if I go to proceed right here, then I can enter in my video name and I can enter in my script. So let me just take my script and import it in there. So this is the script that I have. I'm just gonna copy it. Then I'm gonna drag it in there. And then the script topic is five best countries to visit in 2024. 
Now here I can highlight some words, for example, Japan, Portugal, New Zealand, those words are already highlighted and then it will put some extra emphasis on those words. Now, once we're happy with our script, we click on proceed and now it starts generating an entire YouTube video from our script. So here we are and this is our timeline of Pictory. Here we can see our entire transcript. Then we can see the scenes it has generated with them. And then here's our preview with subtitles on there. Right now I'm thinking this is a bit much, but I will show you later how you can trim this down a little bit. Now, first, let me give you an example of what it currently looks like. So let's hit on preview. And now it starts generating a preview for us. So yes, that is pretty cool that you can have all of these different scenes. It already adds music and subtitles. The only thing that I'm missing is a voiceover, but we can do that as float. Click on audio. Now we go over to voiceover. And here we have all of these different voiceover that are made by 11 Labs. And 11 Labs is one of the best AI voiceover generators. So if you want to use it, you need to have the premium feature of Pictory. And let me tell you this, it's totally worth it over the other voiceovers that Pictory has. Now for this example, I'm going to use a standard voice. And I think this one sounds the best. Welcome to Pictory. So now the video looks and sounds like this. Hey, Globetrotters. Ready to stamp your passports with some epic adventures in 2024. So yes, you can totally tweak that and find the best voiceover possible. But now let's change up the scene because I think the first scene is taking a long time. So to do that, we go to our scene and now let's split it like right after the sentence. We click on split scene. And as you can see, they have another scene for this new sentence. So now we can change the visual of this and let me find something for this. Let's do travel. Let's do this clip right here. We drag it over. And now we have a different scene right here that we can use in our storyboard. So this is basically how it works. And you can change the storyline in here. And you can also make sure to split the scene so you don't end up with like three lines worth of text. You can change the colors of this just by clicking on it. So here we can change the highlight color to yellow, for example. And now it looks just a bit better readable. Besides that, you can also change the audio. You can add some more elements into it. And you can also use different styles that Pictory already has made for you. Once you're happy with your video, you click on download. And here you can click on download video. And now it will download everything for you. Keep in mind, once again, for this to work without your watermark, then you need to have the pro plan. So for Pictory, once again, I will leave a link and also a discount code in there. So you can get a little discount on top of your purchase if you're using Pictory. Okay, in conclusion, which tool is the best for your needs? Well, it all depends on what you are using it for. For example, if you're just making YouTube shorts and you only need to do like subtitles and some basic form of editing on your videos, then I would recommend Submagic. But let's say you run a faceless YouTube channel, then you have, in my opinion, three different tools that you can use. Feed, InVideo and also Pictory AI. Now, InVideo is the most versatile tool. It does YouTube shorts and it also does like YouTube videos and it also has like the best stock footage on there. Other than that, I would say Veed is more of a versatile tool that is also great for editing. So if you want to more edit your videos with a video timeline, then I would say use Feed. But if you already have scripts or you have like a blog, then Pictory is the right tool for you. Other than that, if you already own a lot of content and let's say you own a podcast, then check out Opus Clip because it is the best tool for repurposing your content. But also keep in mind that these AI tools won't replace a real editor. For some videos, I actually prefer to have a real-time editor or I want to edit it myself. And also with these AI tools, there's still some heavy customization that you have to do in order to make it look good. That being said, I would say check out all of these tools, play around with them, try them out, see which one you like the most and also see which one you use the most. Other than that, if you'd like this video and you want to learn more about AI video editing, then check out the video that's on the screen right now.